Hi guys, so this is day four of giving back. So today I've had about four or five requests for talking about working out lumbar spine, lower back pain, hips and all of those kind of things. Just want to talk to people about the skeleton, okay? Because there's a massive misconception about core function. Core is here. It's attached to the spine at the front. It's called TVA, transverse abdominal. Now, a lot of people think core is your rectus abdominals, like your six, eight pack, you can see. They're superficial muscles. They don't do a lot. You've got your core here, TVA, transverse abdominals, your stomach, and then your, your rectus is on top of that with your serratus, etc. So. People don't seem to realise the core is here. It supports the spine. So if you want a good, strong back, you've got to have a strong core as well as a strong back. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be talking about strengthening core and strengthening lower back and making sure that people can do a nice lower back rehab session on their own safely at home. Also, when we talk about the skeleton, we have to look at the hard skeleton, which is the skull, the spine and the pelvis. If we to pull that out, everything else will drop to the floor. So when we're talking about biomechanical structural pain, it comes from what called, what's caused by gravity, and gravity is affected from here to here. Everything else is what we call floating. All right, so today we're gonna to go through the best way to work your core and your lower back and your hips and making sure that your lumbar spine and, and, and your core is very strong and very balanced. Okay, so, before we do any lower back core work, we need to warm the pelvis up, we need to get the back nice and warm. Now I've done this already, this warm up. So if you go back to video one, you'll be able to see this, but it's pelvic tilts, small circles, small circles, little tap rounds, wag the tail, big circles, gently rolling into hamstrings, and being very gentle to start with because obviously we're not warm. So, before you start doing any lower back work in the gym or any core work, you need to warm everything up around the lower back, the core and the pelvic girdle. Okay, so I won't go into too much detail about warming up because it's already, we've already done lots of that. So always warm up before you do your workout. Really important. So kneeling Superman is great for lower back, but first of all, <coughs> you have to make sure that you're on all fours and you're level and your back is sitting in neutral, so it's got this nice curve here, okay? The most important thing to remember with this is not to lift your legs too high up so you don't hurt your back, okay? That's the most important thing. So what we do is we lift, we point the toe, point the hand, and then we lower. And it's not quick, it's controlled movements. Now you might feel a bit wobbly to start with. Point and point. Stabilize, point, and down, point, and down. Now, this is quite a safe exercise to do as long as you don't lift your leg up too high here and push through your hip, okay? So controlled movement, very controlled. Only go level with your foot and your hand. Hold for a second, down, and opposite. Now what you'll find is one side will feel better than the other and you might feel a bit wobbly. Okay? Okay guys, so we're talking about core, core work. Now I don't expect you to be doing this, okay? This is more advanced, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna talk to you about how, to, how the core functions. There's two ways to activate the core. There's one involuntary, which is through balance, which is what we're gonna do today. And there's one voluntary where you actually activate them through exercise. So. Involuntary activation of core is any balancing at all. Whenever you balance, your core works. Your core, the signals go through to the chief, to transverse abdominus and boom, 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 and the core's working. Okay? So, the simple way to start is to sit on the ball and to just literally lift one foot off. Now, there's no point in lifting one foot off and leaning everything on this leg over here because you're not balancing. Okay, so the idea is to try and keep the middle, like take one foot off, and then all of a sudden you'll feel your tummy go boom, because it's trying to balance you. Okay, it's that simple. That's all you've got to do. Both sides, one side's better than the other. What you're trying to do is you're just trying to lift one foot off and not lean on the leg, 
hold the middle, hold the center, and you'll feel your, oh, 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 oh. That's the simplest way to start to activate the core. Okay, so it's really that simple. You just sit on the ball, find foot off, don't lean on the leg, hold the middle, and you'll feel that biting. That's all you have to do. That's the very beginning, the very start of involuntary activating your core, your TVA, the muscles that support your spine from the front. Okay, guys, last exercise of the back rehab core program. This is assisted hyperextensions. There's some specific points of safety with this, so I will be taking you through it. Now, my feet against the wall, my feet and my toes are on the floor. My knees have to face down at all times, very important. Take the ball back, roll over, onto the ball, relax my neck. Push up, push up, hold. Now, when I come up, the most important thing is my knees are facing down. That way I don't over hyperextend my back and I can't hurt my back. If my knees are down, I can't hurt myself, okay? So relax, relax the neck, use my hands, push, push, up, down, push, push. No, don't come up too high. Don't do this, okay? Just level and knees down. That means you can't, your, your back will not over hyperextend and do this, okay? Relax, boom, there. Knees down, can't hurt yourself. Relax your neck. And what we're doing, we're just starting to build some endurance in this lumbar spine. Okay, it's that simple, but just to reiterate, the safety tips are relax your neck at the bottom, only push gently. When you come up, don't come up too high, just level, and the knees must always be facing down, that way you can't hurt yourself. So as we've said many, many times, do not stretch cold muscles at the beginning of a workout. You stretch at the end, which is what we're doing now. At the beginning, you pulse raise and you extend your range of motion. You don't stretch. Big difference. Now we're warm, we've done our workout, this is the time to stretch. So, lots of my patients, clients say to me, in the, oh Paul, I can't get my socks on in the morning. That's because I've got a tight hip. Okay, so this is the stretch at the end of our workout. And basically what we're looking to do is just stay upright to start with. And as you get more and more flexible, you can go lower and lower and lower down and it opens this right up. Okay, now if you can't get your foot up, then I'm gonna have to show you a much easier way of doing that. That's another workout, that's another, that's another time. Okay, so obviously we're doing both sides. And you're gonna have one side tighter than the other. So always start on the tight side, go to the other side and finish on the tight side. So you're always doing double on the tight side. Okay, and this hamstring. Hamstring. So basically, we just want to take our time to open, it, open up the lower back and the hips while we're stretching. And this is nice and warm now, so it's a great time to do it. Eventually, what we want to do is go to, when you get really good range of motion, what you can do is you can really sort of get into this stretch. You can just drop straight into it. But obviously, that's going to take some time. Okay, guys, so that's been our core lower back rehab session. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it. Thank you.